harvest and reharvest yeah, for sure Monsanto did. for use of their patented product. Without this protection for Monsanto, says Kagan, the company would get scant benefit from its invention and Welcome to Amsterdam. would reap great Welcome back and spend some time here. And see without Enjoy the Empire Zone in the city of Amsterdam. The court's decision, however, was explicitly limited to cases like Poland, where an individual takes steps to replicate a patented product. Justice Kagan said the court was not deciding how to handle all self-replicating products. Rush hour, 514. molecules to computer software. We need not address here, she said, whether Russia. or how patent doctrines would apply in many self-replicating inventions that are becoming ever more prevalent, who lives on that island? complex, and diverse. Probably a bunch of Canada in geese. NPR News, Washington. In Philadelphia, a jury has found a doctor Rush guilty hour. of murder at a clinic where he performed abortions. Look at the size of it. Dr. Kermit Gosnell was Bigger convicted than a Walmart. of killing three babies and acquitted in the death of a fourth. <laughs> He was also found guilty of involuntary manslaughter in the death. More charges, but some of them were thrown this out. This is the kind of concrete building I discuss sometimes. In the end, the concrete, thick. That's the kind of factory they had in Bangladesh that pancaked, killed a thousand innocent workers making a dollar a day. In concrete buildings, you could have your cheap clothes. It cost a dollar or two a piece, three dollars a piece. We all buy it. We know we're all guilty. She came to solid Gosnell for an abortion, concrete construction, and she died of no an corrugated, she was given too much medication. solid the concrete could have full of rebar, just like that factory, but when you're making that high, you just got to upsize your beams. Involuntary and they didn't do that, I guess. And on top of these very serious convictions, there were dozens Even this building is just baby-sized, but still, look at those window bays. Uh, One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 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 three full stories plus a basement. Welcome to Amsterdam. Welcome to Amsterdam. United States Post Office, Amsterdam, New York. Standards for a clinic that served a mostly a poor and minority population. A beautiful building, signifying its power in the financial industry. Banks with high ceilings. Amsterdam Free Library. Who goes to a library anymore? Things have changed, haven't they? Abortion rights supporters are quite I wonder if this was built by Dr. Andrew Carnegie. Well of the Rich man, to open to all. Acceptable. And you talk about abortion rights supporters. This case has really figured into the national open abortion debate. Open to all. Talk about that and why. Yeah, yeah, I think a lot of it has to do with just the brutal architecture right there. Concrete precast blocks, slabs, slashes and gashes from windows. Look at this place. Brownstone, just like in New York City. I bet you it's less expensive to live here than New York City, Brownstone. Prestigious address at the time, floor to ceiling windows, big yard with a retaining wall. Wow. Look at this one, another beauty. City Hall. Hello, Amsterdam, the Sanford Mansion. I love it. I'll come here one day, I promise. Stairs to where? And the factories. Big. Monsters. Crazy. Crazy. One on top of the other. I just can't get over it. Can't get over it. Factory after factory. He could face the death penalty. His attorney, Jack McMahon, talked with reporters. Look at this little stone building. Cutie pie. I've been through here before. I'm sure I've had people from Amsterdam watch the videos. Coleco made toys here, and then they converted to different kinds from metal toys to plastic toys, was it? That's NPR's Jeff Brady. Jeff, thank you. Thank you, Anya. Factory on top of factory on top of factory. Imagine how busy the streets were. The Walter Elwood Museum, Dooley. The 
Walter Elwood Factory. Add more, add more. Private property, $50 reward if you cross those gates without permission. If they turn you in, that is. Multi-story, old, older, and oldest. And the cemetery where the people lay, people lie that built this place, that worked in the factories and the sweatshops. Oh, it's an old one, boy. Harley Davidson repair, motorcycle repair, cycle works. Can't read the name. DD could have gone in there for a PP. They're going to drive through parking lot. That would have been nice. So, well, this my opportunity. Five Corners Gas Station. Yankee Candle Dealer. Old Peddler's Wagon. Lottery. That's the business nowadays. Shopping center, grocery, bowling, whatever it was. Boarded up. What are you supposed to do? Who's responsible for allowing cheap goods to come in from slave labor countries? That's what built America, don't forget. The Irish, Italians, you name it. We came over here with a dream, hauling little kids. I had an idea. The government gave them a break, cheap land, whatever it was. I think I lost Mrs. CW at Dunkin' Donuts. I'll wait for her at the gas station at the top of the hill. I've been through here before. Nice house. Just pave the driveway. Look how nice these houses are. Especially the yellow one. Woo! Yep, can't miss that house. Just look for the yellow house on the way up the hill. I guess this was the suburbs at the time. <laughs> Marie Curie Elementary School. Just saw a Camaro under a tarp. I missed it though. All you can see was a stripe on the bottom of the spoiler. It was covered. Look at those spruce trees. That's it. That's the beauty of Amsterdam. GMC. Oh, they're killing rhinoceri on NPR. I can't take it. Junkyard! I finally get the video. It's Junkyard. Wow, that junk is just piled up in the back. Too bad you can barely catch glimpses. Acres and acres of junk. Oh, well. Oh, well. I tried to get it for you. No time to stop. The CCW needs to get home to an appointment. It says we're going to arrive at 8.19. She's got an 8 o'clock appointment. <laughs> Oh well. We're taking a shortcut to Saratoga Springs. Country roads, farm animals, farm equipment. Oh, caterpillar. Sleeping. POWs, MIA, don't forget. Our troops still serve. The need never ends. And the need to pee never ends. I gotta find a place to pull over and relieve myself. Four wheel drive, bucket trucks or grapplers. Yep, four wheel drive. Going in the woods. Nice trees, nice stand of trees. Got that rough, rough, rough vertical bark. 67. GM's code for convertibles back in the day. 37 was post, 47 was hardtop, 57 was four door maybe, 67 was convertible, I don't know, something like that. Oh, beautiful landscape, beautiful apple trees, beautiful. Just a little orchard of apple trees. More apple trees. Why import apple and apple juice from China? You've got apples growing right here in New York and Washington. Washington State on the West Coast. 
got beautiful temperature here. The apples love it. Freezing at night. Oh, that's sorry. That's the sap running from maple syrup. <laughs> Maybe it'll start running again. This is crazy. Uh. Worm in their apple, it's worse than finding a whole worm, isn't it? More apple trees. I wonder what variety they are. Gotta cut the grass between the trees and put some sticky paper on, stop the worms from crawling up, and we've got a cock behind them. 15 pound felt, stop the worms from going behind it, in between the bark and the paper. Somebody mentioned that to me, they're right. Good point. 